good afternoon students with the last uh, class of dinga dna fingerprinting we were in the uh, a verge of completing the chapter molecular base of inheritance that had a very finest uh, details of what are the steps involved in fingerprinting but rather than the number of steps what is the principle of fingerprinting uh, dia really holds a good criteria for uh, understanding one's unique identity the principle is most important aspect it still had a very little bit of a, a pending portion it is what are the applications let me once again uh, make you a brief note on uh, this dna fingerprinting's principle it was by uh, dr uh, alex jeffries 1980s not only he uh, the one person from london even in india also fingerprinting was done by two persons called dr lalji singh and kashyap so i'll just take the names of them dr sir like alex jeffries a person from uh, uk was the first to resolve this problems of uh, forensic science and uh, bring the details of dna fingerprinting he was the one who discovered the fingerprinting technology but uh, even uh, we have dr lalji singh and uh, dr kashyap is given so well both are indian uh, group of persons indian scientists who have done this fingerprinting for the first time right first time fingerprinting by but in india fingerprinting was the first time uh, done by the persons lalji singh and kashyap now uh, what is straight away the principle the principle behind this technique was when the human dna is centrifuged through some density gradient when the dna of human under a density gradient using some density when we centrifuge centrifugation process we are going to get two peaks larger settle set one and another settle set the other might be this is because of something at rich or gc rich could be either or either things that also was one of the information she said one smaller peak and one larger peak smaller peak is because of it might be having too much of at or it might have too much of gc at rich or gc rich so this uh, smaller peak of dna i call it as satellite dna larger peak of dna is supposed to be called as bulk dna bulk dna is known to code for proteins but satellite dna is the one who is non coding satellite dna is from the part of which part of the chromosome is that information also i said in the last class satellite dna actually this part of the dna arises from this part of the dna actually arises from centromere region telomere region secondary constriction region and uh, heterochromatin regions centromere heterochromatin telomere secondary constrictions they are taking part in generating this satellite dna composition may be high in at or composition could be in gc but this statement is there in the book which yesterday i forgot to write this words on the board these these were specially missed out this satellite dna which is non coding doesn't have any uh, uh, information to make a protein it's not a gene but when you see this non coding segment of satellite dna few groups of nucleotides are again and again repeated that's what i said what is that sequence doesn't know it could be within 10 base pairs or it could go more than 11 to 60 base pairs that is repeated many times repeated many times c c g a a c if i right again i have to repeat this c c g a a c again c c g so and so and so so less than 10 base pairs i call it as microsatellites around uh, 
11 to 60 base pairs if we this this base pairs number i am telling agar the length of these are within these base pairs length of this is within these pairs you call it as mini satellite and micro satellite respectively that was the basis of fingerprinting because this identity is unique like a human has this unique identity in his digits palm even the sole of the feet this is a absolutely dna's identity which is found in every cell of the human body but this identity which is in your uh, digits your palm and the sole feet can be erased can be manipulated can be altered if they are undergone some surgery but you cannot do with this nothing can be done with this this copy is same only in identical twins if these both are identical twins if the copy is ccgaac my twin also will be having ccgaac only because both are monozygotic twins they have come from one single spermatozoa and one single ovum split into two because of a cleavage one percentage of allelic or locus of population at the level of population one percentage of mutation frequency can occur in these regions in these regions what you are calling it as a variable number of tandem repeats what do you call for such segments repeated again and again again and again we call it as we call it as variable number of tandem repeats also called as short tandem repeats also known as restriction fragment length polymorphism these units these units are called as short tandem repeats vntr rl lp these can show these can show mutation frequency at 0.01 percentage in individual level one percentage mutation frequency can occur at the level of population so this is called as dna polymorphism this is noticed as dna polymorphism means vntrs can show dna polymorphism what it is means variations because of insertion deletion addition mutations please cause variations so what is the use of this polymorphism means may not be direct effect may not be immediate effect but for in terms of evolution to understand the species species composition polymorphism could somewhere do bring its a uh, application may not be direct or immediate but speciation evolution in far way understanding human biology much more polymorphism can be brought into existence so just kindly notice your book has given in this place 0.1 to 20 kilo basis of what you call repeated tank, uh, fragments are seen right so we still have classified it as below 10 base pairs so 11 to 60 base pairs as satellite micro and mini respectively that can also show polymorphism nothing but mutation frequency simple words variations at population 1% variations can be noticed individual level 0.01 percentage of variation can be noticed that completed polymorphism now the question arises this unique identity will reveal a person's uh, what dna sequence and can use in wide varieties of applications because this is the unique pattern in individual i can solve uh, so many problems because of dna fingerprint how was dna fingerprint done yesterday you said that dna fingerprinting was done first by taking the dna of whoever the criminal possibly has dropped at the spot of crime intentionally it could not happen but mistakenly some amount of dna could be left in some of the cells which could include uh, either uh, semen it could be or blood particularly i am talking about wbc because rbcs are enucleated platelets are also not nucleated wbcs will be having a nucleus so any of the tissue sample which includes uh, your skin could be or mouth mouth swab buccal swab can be so any tissues or blood or a semen if possible not even that hair hair follicle hair follicle is also essential that could be available so that next part deals with me is after you collect the sample i wanted to extract the dna out of the cell so dna is taken out of the cell when this cell is again understand i have to go for a process called as centrifugation so how does the centrifugation actually looks like 
we have hope uh, seen something uh, round circular machine like might be your uh, grinder your uh, tilting uh, wet grinder absolutely a uh, bowl like structures having a uh, quails in which you keep the test tube with filled with some enzymes and that spins at several rotations per minute 100 rotations for 1 minute to several thousand rotations per minute it spins that we call it as centrifugation right just to have an understanding when i spin this uh, cells within this uh, solution i know that on adding certain enzymes on adding certain enzymes the dna will be released out of the cell and dna shall be floating uh, above the liquid as supernatant now if this is needed i will take this dna for polymerase chain reaction because at least uh, human dna is having a 5.6 picograms of dna if it is less than 1 to 2 i need at least 3 to 4 picograms for that i go for polymerase chain reaction multiplication of dna what do you call amplification of dna right so multiplication is the mathematical word amplification is biological word so amplification of the dna at least to some 3 to 4 picograms this much is present in the human cell now after this next part is what enormous amount of dna whatever i have got this enormous amount of dna whatever is been got i subject to cut into pieces by using enzymes called restriction endonucleases so they are placed in the wells right i have just taken it directly they are placed in certain wells definitely we know here it's a agarose gel here it is a agarose gel electrophoresis anodes are there treating uh, or digesting by using restriction endonucleases who this amplified dna taken from the sample broken into shorter fragments right over gel electrophoresis they move towards the anode smaller fragments move forwards a larger fragments uh, will be left behind or moving very slower but worry one more essential thing is there i need to split both the dna pieces into single strand so i have to treat this by using a alkali chemicals which is that enzyme used in today's class means i have said the word uh, alkaline phosphatase enzyme will be added to split the two dna chains into single strands split them into single strands so now directly i shall uh, show it in the form of single strand of dna larger and smaller fragments understood that it is accordingly only next what what is going to occur next i need to transfer this from the gel over a nitrocellulose sheet or nylon membrane that method procedure was developed by the person em sadan therefore we call it as sadan blotting not only sadan two more blots are also there northern blotting is also there western blotting is also there east nahi hai east blotting nahi hai sadan name because of that another blotting methods were also developed by his co-workers accordingly to his name the name is given as north south west nothing else is there special for that northern blotting blotting uh, procedures i finally transfer this on a nitrocellulose sheet or nylon membrane done last two steps are remaining with me after this is shifted what is this nylon membrane anything can be used now this is a uh, treated in a large bath tub where you are going to add a uh, chemical probes chemical probes are isotopic uh, artificially created dna molecules isotopic artificial synthesized dna molecules now this is sheet is here so when sheet is immersed in some bath fluid uh, to this you are adding what probes correct so these are small dna pieces released onto this so that these dna will come and bind with this to make a complementary settlement so i'll just do that this makes some of them complementary make hybridization some those who are non complement may not hybridized right so here if it is complementary will definitely hybridize if it is non complementary they may not hybridize so this is called a hybridization so next process is hybridization using what using dna probes 
hybridization using DNA blocks. Unhybridized may be removed off by adding some fluid called water. Just remove this by using water. Now exposing this into an X-ray autoradiographic technique. Auto radiograph. So it develops into a sheet, X-ray sheet will be developed from that nitrocellulose paper. This nitrocellulose or nylon paper, what do you call? That develops into or a pattern comes over an X-ray sheet, but DNA won't look like DNA. It appears like bands. This is what called as a profiling or DNA's fingerprint. This is my fingerprint, but these things, whatever are there, this is the DNA's bands, which is called as fingerprints. So inside, what is the sequence of that person literally is not possible unless you take the DNA of the person, sequence it out according to human genome project and study. But this is unique pattern for every individual that was identified by Alec Jeffries in 1980s only. So after 50 years, I am talking now in 22020, 50 years before, uh, no, 40 years before, correct? So 40 years before only this technique was uh, being developed by the person means he has solved so much of uh, what investigations, forensic uh, and what not other applications are there. We will just see what is the use of this profiling. Now the conclusion step is that, so when this is uh, taken from the spot of crime, it is definitely a criminals only, will bring over the number of accused persons, whether one or two or three or ten or fifteen, don't know. Whoever are the doubtful persons will just plot them. All, all the DNA of those persons are taken and we started to plot them, arranged sequentially, parallelly with the one who is taken from the spot of crime. We start to compare the what? What do we compare means? I compare the length of the band and the distance of the band. So this is length of the band and this will be the distance of the band. That's only possibility left with us. When both absolutely coincide, both 100% matches, that makes is the person who is the criminal because that DNA sample was obtained from the spot of crime. So principle behind this is the same REN will cut the DNA once again at the same blocks. When once cut the DNA, same REN, once again you provide the same DNA, shall break into pieces at same width, separation occurs at same pace. After shifting, when we add a same list of probes, the probes will go and hybridize at the same location. So in the no changes. It will definitely bring no errors. The same probes will hybridize at exactly same position means I shall be expecting same band length and uh, distance between the bands. So that is simplified a uh, wonderful procedure to match the profiling and call the person is accused who actually was a criminal. Well, this was the steps involved in fingerprinting. Now last, what are the applications? What finally we apply this? By doing all these things, how the problems can be solved? So last two more question, probably they could ask, write the applications of DNA fingerprints. Applications of DNA profiling because there are three names. DNA fingerprinting is also called DNA profiling is also called as DNA typing. Three words were written in the yesterday's class put forth. Well, first thing. <coughs> to solve. Forensic science investigations, straight away applications, as according to this only uh, example I have spoken. To solve the forensic science investigations could be like uh, something the cases concerned with uh, murder or rape or any other called as violence. Hence be careful before conducting uh, any of these that your DNA will be caught and uh, you will be thrown under the jail. Don't leave any identities. Right? Do whatever. No. 
to solve uh, forensic uh, science investigations which included murder rape violence etc etc you are given to solve not to create a uh, to solve all any of these things using the dna fingerprints straight point number 2 to solve paternity dis which is also uh, equal into baby switchovers in hospitals baby switchovers in hospitals this is also both are same concept uh, paternity disputes this is truly have some uh, application other than that doesn't mind that you have to create some uh, violence or any other thing uh, don't create any violence at all then still does it come in once uh, a uh, scenario of a family to solve any cases means yes truly it is like this we know that 50% of the dna is inherited from the paternity 50% of the chromosome inheritance is from maternal means child is expected to be having a 50 each from both the parents but even though these two chromosomes can undergo crossing over or may not undergo crossing over the child will have uh, some of these patterns from the paternal some of these patterns from the maternal. So, let me come in my original uh, uh, picture of that uh, autoradiography. Watch. This is a child whose fingerprint is like this. Let me simplify myself. Done. Done with this. This is a child's uh, profiling. Now, question arises this child belongs to which two group of parents? This girl claims this lady claims he is the father after certain duration he is claiming no he is the father she is confused who is the father of the child she does not know maybe the cases it could be or this person claims no she is only my wife or he claims no she is my wife my bap re bap. right two two four whatever it is actually this child belongs to whom that is the big question now even in the hospitals also have written mistakenly when children Yes, the so called as nursing women, nursing ladies, nurses could have taken with the treatment or uh, any other uh, practitioner uh, methodology, right? The baby can be shifted from one what do you call group to another group of what do you call, kya uh, bolte usko? The bed, the bed, right? So, whatever that uh, mother with the child, mother with the child, mistakenly baby from one to the other and that child to this cot can be shifted in the hospital. So, baby switch over. So, not the word baby ko switch pe but bithana or baby switch over ho gaya. That is not my meaning here. Exchanging of from beds to beds. Right? Then what to do? Right? Again here paternity disputes. Child claims to be the mother, claims no he is the father. Again she claims he is the father. No, she once again claims he is the father. So, many persons. So, father, father. Who is the father? Question now arises. It is clearly said that some of the bands uh, when coincide with the mother, remaining of the band should coincide with the father, not 100 percent, some. Let me take these two coincide with the mother and uh, I have to bring fathers now. How many? Four fathers, three fathers. There are so many persons here. Okay. Now, if certain things from the mother has been coincided to this child, okay, next I am going to watch what? Paternals. So, paternal is here, here. Okay, let me take this. This is here coincided. This is taken from the mother. This is again taken. No, I cannot do with two or three fathers, only one father. So, this should be again here taken from this father only. Father, father, mother. Again, I will take, I wish to take this from the mother like this. So, some bands from the mother some coincide from the father like this so he is the father congrats huh so these are the father patterns that could be maternal patterns somewhere you may see there is no coincidence there may be different because this is the child's unique identity it becomes the child's unique identity that uh, pattern is broken down might be because of crossing over the pattern is altered hence 50 percent 50 percent try to coincide, some may not coincide because it is child's own sequence. So, this is how we used to solve paternal disputes 
that this child actually belongs to which parent, male and a female, right? Such cases are most common when, they, of, of course, they go for a court. Uh, she would claim him to be father, him to be father of the child, him to be, him to be. So straight away they come for the forensic lab for the process called DNA's fingerprint. So again, be careful. To solve NRI disputes, not only what you call uh, NRI means non-residential uh, Indians, right? The persons who are uh, who have undergone migrations, right? So something called as a uh, race differentiation. The persons who are migrating. The persons have uh, differentiations in the race. Race differentiations are those who undergo migrations, totally those who are called as NRI, whether they are origin of India or out of origin, don't know, correct? So solve such racism or migration uh, uh, cases will be there. Totally, NRI word is better used for this. He is also under my uh, odical application of DNA fingerprinting. To, truly, how far it works, don't know. Next. Fourth, to study human lineage, like uh, how human arose in Africa, how human evolved from apes, overall to study evolution. It's very, very beyond the knowledge of thinking and understanding how fingerprinting could really help this. Uh, we have uh, cases of uh, paternal disputes. We have cases of uh, violence. That is clear, can be understood. This is beyond the knowledge. How can you try to understand human's evolution has come, how human arose in Africa, from Africa, how apes, and how from apes man has come he is also one of the application of fingerprinting is given. Next, still two more are there. DNA fingerprinting helps to identify gene disorders. Could really be uh, this DNA fingerprinting, how it helps to identify gene disorders? Might be something called as cystic fibrosis, your sickle cell anemia muscular dystrophy, etc., etc., muscular dystrophy, muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis, sickle cell anemia, muscular dystrophy, and I want to understand and study few group of certain number of gene disorders. Like is also mentioned here in the last, even to study variations, or what do you call mutations in wild animals is also being possible. Do you think only on man? No, even in the animals also this could be probably to some extent has shown that DNA variations are seen, mutations are seen differently in animals also. Why variations? What mutations could occur in the wild individuals of my groups of uh, animalia is concluding part of uh, our DNA's finger. So first two cases are very important, forensic investigation, baby switch was in hospitals and to solve paternity disputes. Then you said that uh, it is used to study human uh, lineages, it is used to study evolution, XYZ, XYZ, followed by uh, fingerprinting is also used to study some hereditary disorders, some things are mentioned. Not only that, it is also used to study uh, your uh, animals, wild animals uh, variations or wild animals mutation process. Even not only that, uh, migratory cases, these uh, race differentiation uh, cases, NRA disputes are also able to be solved by this fingerprinting. So that completed last the 100%, 100 out of 100 according to me, 
uh, we have one uh, the victory of uh, the molecular basis of inheritance so the dna and genes are finally uh, closed which has started beginning from the april i guess so now this is mid of september mid of april with four chapters biotechnology biotechnology genetics and molecular basis such a long time thanks for having great patience to cope up with such online classes who actually meant to be dealt uh, offline successfully you gave test exams written understanding working hard focused on this online classes of particularly four major chapters of bio so my last uh, procedure formality one beautiful uh, small video on fingerprinting try to understand it then conclude with some of the questions of human genome project and fingerprinting so that completes today's class What is DNA fingerprinting or DNA profiling? Leicester University geneticist Alec Jeffries developed a technique called DNA fingerprinting in 1985. It allows DNA samples from different people to be compared to look for similarities and differences. It's used for solving crimes and can also confirm if people are related to each other, like in paternity testing. Any two people in the world have 99.9% .9 of their DNA the same. So this process analyzes the differences in the remaining 0.1%. This modern technology is called DNA profiling. It's a very sensitive technique which only needs a few skin cells, a hair root, or a tiny amount of blood or saliva. There are sections, or loci, of chromosomes where instead of a gene consisting of a long sequence of bases, there are much shorter sequences of three, four, or five bases that are repeated many times. For example, these repeated sequences are called short tandem repeats, or STR. At these places on the chromosome where we find these STRs, there are areas that vary in number of repeats. DNA profiling only looks at these STRs. A cell sample is collected. This could be from some blood at a crime scene, or a swab from the inside of someone's cheek, for example. The DNA is then extracted from the sample. Many copies of this DNA may be made using the polymerase chain reaction, or PCR. Special enzymes called restriction endonucleases are used to cut the DNA up into different size pieces. The DNA samples are then put into wells in a special gel called agarose for the process of gel electrophoresis, which separates the DNA fragments by size. The pattern is then transferred to a nylon sheet in southern blotting. And finally, the lines produced by the DNA samples from different people are compared. So let's have a go at using DNA profiles to solve some mysteries. An item was stolen in a burglary. 
a drop of blood was left behind by the thief. Samples of DNA were taken from four suspects and compared to the sample left at the crime scene. Which suspect is guilty? Here's a clue. Look for the one that is most similar to the one from the crime scene. Pause the video while you decide. Suspect 3 is guilty. Can you see how the pattern of bands matches in Suspect 3 and the crime scene? Their DNA is the same. Let's try another. A soldier has been killed in an explosion and has lost his dog tags that identify him. Three soldiers are missing from their unit, so the army asks for three sets of parents for a DNA sample so that they might compare it to the soldier's DNA and therefore make an identification. Remember, the soldier will only share half of his DNA with each parent. So which set of parents is the soldier the son of? Pause the video while you decide. Parent C and D. As you can see, he inherited the first band from parent D and the second, third and fourth from parent C and so on. So now you understand how DNA profiles or fingerprints are made and seen some examples of where they can be used. You can even interpret a DNA profile. Please like and share our videos with your friends. If you have any questions that you want help with, Few questions. BSE and YSE, uh, we see these two words in this part called HGP, Human Genome Project. Bacterial artificial chromosome, yeast artificial chromosomes are natural DNA obtained from bacteria and yeast, useful vectors for eukaryotic gene transfer, or artificial DNA obtained from bacteria and yeast, or both B and C. Really good question to be appreciated. They are naturally found in the bacteria, they are naturally found in the yeast, but uh, when I take outside and I am going to clone with some other DNA like human DNA and further transfer into eukaryote because bacterial is prokaryote, yeast is eukaryote. I have taken their plasmid and uh, chromosome, added with the human DNA, shifted, uh, worked as a vector, shifted to eukaryotic. Uh, then should be they natural or they become artificial. So when they are out of the uh, their cells in the human uh, gene carrying, transfer it into their bodies shall not be natural. They have to be called as artificial. So useful vectors for eukaryotic gene transfer, artificial DNA obtained from a bacteria and yeast. So because the option is both B and C and nothing uh, can be taken as A, alone is correct. At least uh, all A, B, C if option was there, I would have gone with that. But now if I take this, what about these two? I can't neglect these two things. So I have to stick with both B and C. Because these two statements are far better and uh, connected to this. These are natural things taken from, but these two are the applications connected to HGP. So both B and C should be the answer. Well, next. VNTR is employed for variable number of tandem repeats, sorry. DNA fingerprinting was invented by uh, Carrie Mullis, Dr. Paul Berg, Alec Jeffries, Francis Collins, Sir Alec Jeffries, 1980s itself, from UK, the first word today written on the board. Variable number of tandem repeat is employed for protoplasmic culture, no. So I think you heard this word in the topic called uh, animal uh, breeding and plant hybridization. Strategies for enhancement in food production, last tomato plus potato, tomato, correct fusion of protoplast, that is protoplast culture. 
DNA fingerprinting because the topic is right now on this, so I can definitely deal with this. Regulation of plant growth hormones or enhancing photosynthesis in desert plants. As per the chapter, everyone knows VNTR should come in the DNA fingerprinting unit itself. DNA fingerprinting is related to, good four questions are there, you could take one minute, try to think what shall be the answer. DNA fingerprinting is related to molecule analysis of profiles of DNA sample. I will take one person sample, I will take other person sample and should I analyze their samples. Analysis of DNA samples using imprinting devices. Do you use any device called imprinting devices here? No. Techniques used for molecular analysis of different specimens of RNA. No, no, this is DNA topic, DNA only, RNA does not come. In this entire unit, that part of DNA fingerprinting, RNA word is nowhere used. Technique used in identification of fingerprints of different, uh, that is a hopeless thing, that is dermatoglyphics. Please, this is called dermatoglyphics. So, I think uh, I cannot go with the fourth, neither third. Imprinting device is not correct, left out only is first option. Analyze the different person's DNA samples, that is it. Which following pairs or name or term means one and the same, okay. These both should be one and the same. Which two words are for the thing? That is analogs. Gene pool is equal to genome, both are same. Huh? No, gene pool comes in the population. Genome comes in an individual. Total number of genes in the This is population, both are not same. Codon and gene. Is gene a codon? Codon is a three letters on mRNA. It means three nucleotides on mRNA is codon. Gene is a structural element on the DNA having promoter and terminator between. That is a gene. No, this is also not correct. Cistron is triplet. No, cistron is nothing but a gene. Triplet does not coincide with that. Again, you are blessed because chapter may, whatever I deal today, everything answer is fingerprinting only. So, nothing will be correct except the last because DNA fingerprinting is also called as DNA profiling is also called as DNA typing. Next. Good. Which following pairs uh, terms or names mean one and the same thing? Good. That is also here. Once again question is asked. In the genome, do you have histones? In the genome, what is genome? Genes. Uh, DNA. DNA is having gene. Okay. And uh, DNA is wrapped by using histones. Correct? It is wrapped by using a histones. First, first beginning of the chapter. Packaging of DNA helix. DNA was packed by using a histones. Correct? Codon. DNA. Codon and DNA or codon and mRNA. Codon and mRNA. Genome is packed by histone, actually DNA is packed by histone. Cistron tRNA, no, cistron is actually a gene, tRNA is transfer the amino acid. Nothing is correct, answer should be actually none of these. No, they are all not similar words at all, they are different meanings. None of this is the right thing there. DNA fingerprinting refers to, there also there was DNA fingerprinting, here also one more, but see the difference in the sentences. DNA fingerprinting refers to techniques used for identification of codons. You are using it to identify codons of individual. Used for molecular analysis of different specimens of DNA and RNA. Analysis of RNA. Analysis of VNTR of DNA samples. First is not correct. I will go with the fourth. Identification of codons. No, 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 no. Analysis of VNTR of DNA samples. Now, we have asked a good question. What is the first step in southern blotting technique? See, southern blotting, if you go, it is a piece of nylon membrane, you shift it over there and uh, transfer the DNA from gel electrophoresis. But indirectly, is asked for DNA fingerprinting process, first step, what it is? Obviously, denaturation of DNA, separation of DNA by gel, no. Production of a group of genetical identical cell, no. Digestion of DNA by REN or isolation of DNA from a nucleated cell. Are you specific for the whole process or particularly for the gel electrophoresis? See, southern blotting, gel say paper transfer it over there, that is true. But uh, denaturation of DNA, do you add temperature for 
splitting up uh, the 2D and your, you treat with alkali. You treat with alkali, separate the two, you don't give temperature. Production of group of cells, no. Digestion of DNA by REN or isolation. Digestion by REN, sudden blotting. So I'll go with this, is nothing but fingerprinting option will be for isolation of DNA from a nucleated cell. Which step does not involve in DNA fingerprinting? Southern blotting is there? Yes. Electrophoresis is there? Yes. Restriction enzyme digestion is there? Yes. Northern blotting is there? No. In this process, northern blotting is not there. The technique of transferring DNA fragments separated. Technique of transfer the DNA fragments separated on gel to a synthetic nylon membrane is known as what? Shifting of from here to here is called. Straight answer. Northern blotting, western blotting, southern blotting, dot blotting. What dot blotting? This is southern blotting technique. Next. What is DNA probe? Tukdi. Huh. DNA probe is used for DNA probe is used for DNA fingerprint. It detect of pathogen bacteria. Medical diag genetics to find whether a person carries a particular gene or not. This is a application of probe. We know probe is one artificially who comes and binds with the DNA and hybridize. But see this is application. It is used in fingerprinting also. Detection pathogen is also correct. Medical genetics to find whether a person has a gene or not because probe is something what you give and check. Its opponent is there in the body. It will bind. That's all. So I will go with all the above. This is additional information. All the above is correct. Followed by the next last question. I don't know time is running. DNA fingerprinting refers to Again, third time, and how many times he is asking what is DNA fingerprinting? Techniques used for identification of fingerprints of individual? No. Molecular analysis of profiles of DNA sample? Yes. Previously, question. Analysis of DNA sample using imprinting devices? Technique used for? No. I will go with option number two. Last. Okay. Major countries who contributed for participation in Human Genome Project were India. So, we are not there here. Right? So, we are not here. Japan is there. Yes. France is there. Yes. We do not have money. Huh. Germany is there. China is there. Yes. So, all. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Next. Commonly used for cloning in Human Genome are two things. Ade Gotirode statement. Yak back. Yeast artificial chromosome, bacteria artificial chromosome. This is a pack. Plasmic artificial chromosome, no. GMO, genetically modified organism, no, no, yes, yes. So choose the correct combination, one and two. Steps in sequencing human genome project is our last question, already marked here, see, and erased by the pencil. Great. So straight away, without uh, last question, correct? Yes. Steps involved in a uh, DNA's uh, sequencing human genome project. Isolation of DNA, cloning into suitable, no. Sequence arrangement by computer, formation of physical and genetic maps, converting the fragments. Isolate the DNA, break into fragments, transfer into back or yak, then using automated DNA sequencers, match them, then you are going to get Arrangement by using computer, after automation, arrangement using computers. Then comes uh, using uh, REN, recognition sites, formation of physical maps and genetic maps. Last, completion of human genome sequencing. So, option is B. Last question. No. Tandem repeated DNA, solpa. Tandem repeat DNA is classified as micro and mini satellites, yes. VNTR is micro and mini satellite, yes. Normally do not code for proteins, yes. It shows polymorphism, yes. Use in fingerprinting, yes. Option 4, yes. VNTR is all 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, good luck for your molecular biology. So coming week we will be studying only two concepts, human genome project and DNA fingerprinting. So that was a great uh, closing of molecular biology. So thank you. Next week I will start up with something else new. This is Paka 100% to the end. 
let us see what has to be done in the coming up next week.